If money is in the bank, people call it as richness. If money is spent on the body, we call it as fitness, right? You go to the gym. If you spend money on your brain, that's called skill set. So, I'm not saying that you spend all the money on whatever, but all I'm trying to tell you here is, if you keep money in the bank, it will get spent. For example, the first salary which your father got or you got, it might not be there today, right? But the fitness also, right? Of course, you should spend on, because this is the cage in which you're going to live all of your life. So, no doubt, you should spend on your fitness. But at the same time, give equal importance to skill set. Because once you have learnt it, you will not forget it. That will get added into your CV, in your resume, right? That skill set, the tools, the techniques, the projects, the internships, whatever you did, is going to be a building block of your future, right? So, even if you have to spend some money on developing some skill set, do it. Because everyone else looks similar today. Everyone else has the same degree. Everyone else is doing the same, um, you know, course. So everyone else is getting rejected. One, the one person will get selected will be the person who will say that I'm not going to be the sheep of the herd. I'm going to think beyond this herd mentality. I am going to bend the reality which the society is giving me. Like, see, I was born poor, right? I was born in a very small family. From there, I have reached here, right? So if I can do it, why can't you do it, right? At the age of 19, I started Biotechnica and I have changed lives of so many people. You can also bend your reality by not giving up. By not accepting the status quo, by not accepting that, okay, I was born here, doesn't mean that I'm going to be here. I'm going to achieve what nobody can think of, right? You have all the capabilities, all the potential to win the world. But the truth is, you're thinking you're not good enough. But I'm here to ask you, who is good enough? Do you think President Trump is good enough? Or uh, Prime Minister uh, Sri Narendra Modi is good enough? Nobody is perfect. Everybody has flaws. But still, we never gave up. That's how we are at whatever we are, whatever positions we are, right? And, you know, your personality is like an onion. New layers will open up automatically as you take new challenges. Never shy away. Take the challenge. Learn new skill set. Build on the top of it. Invest in your brain. Invest in your body. And see, success will come your way. All the best.